guys, today I'm making two different types of Powerade bottles, both of which have liquid inside for your dolls. And they are a perfect complement to the mini fridge if you ended up making that craft. As always, if you make this craft, please tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see it. And kids, do be sure and ask a parent for help before starting this craft. Okay guys. So I use lids from these little rubber stamps for the larger bottles. And I found these at Target in the dollar section. You can get three for a dollar, but that ends up being six bottles. I thought the lids were really cool and perfect for this craft, and I'm thinking you can bag up the excess to preserve that stamp. And for the smaller bottles, just using these dental brushes that I get at Dollar Tree, you can get four for a dollar. If you've seen my soda bottle slime video, you've seen me use the top section, but this time I wanted to make use of the bottom section, which has this neat little detail that I thought kind of looked like Powerade bottles. So I cut it in half, and if it bulges out where your scissors split it, you can trim that off. File. and then I can trim away some of that filing also. So it just depends on how uptight you want to be about the little bit of excess. And of course you can also carefully use an X-Acto knife. To shape the top, I use hot glue, and I love manipulating hot glue into whatever shape I need. I think it's so cool that hot glue can do that, but it can be tricky, so kids do ask a parent for help. So I apply the hot glue around the edges and just a little bit in the center, making sure the whole thing connects flip it over, and then just allow it to kind of sag just a little bit. I give it about 30 seconds, and then just flatten the top just a tiny bit by pressing gently on parchment paper for a flat top that will accommodate a lid. And now I can add the liquid, just using food coloring and water. I get the desired color, add, making sure the top is still dry. I lay out hot glue on parchment paper, then flip it over and press. It is a bit warm, so you may want to use a piece of craft foam or something in between you and the parchment paper. I give it a few minutes and then peel away the excess hot glue. And I press it down to make sure it doesn't rip out of my bottom. I print the labels on paper, and you can access the printables by clicking on the link in the description section. Apply tape, trim, and tape around. Then to make the lids, I use my multi-hole punch, color with nail polish, and when dry, glue to the top. And for the larger bottles, since they're already colored, I'm just adding water, again sealing with hot glue, peeling away, then adding the label and the lid. And guys, you are so totally good to go. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks guys!